Happy Monday, everyone. We got a fun day, fun way to start the week off. We're gonna start a little slower. We're gonna work on some strength work to get ourselves going. So today, last day of this format of strength work, we're gonna have some fun with this and see where it takes us. But to get us there, we're gonna work dynamic trying, a little three to five aside, windmill three to five aside, dumbbell deadlift three to five, weighted dead bug six to ten, alternating, and a dumbbell throw slash retraction for five per side, nice and slow. We're gonna hit that one to two rounds, and then you're gonna move into a practice round, which I'll have listed out on the workout description for you guys. Check that out, make sure we're getting comfortable with the movements, and then tackle this bad boy today. Three rounds. Have a half Turkish get up, 30 seconds aside, rest 15 seconds, high knee skip of 60 seconds, rest 15 seconds, single leg RDL 30 seconds aside, rest 15, high knee skip 60 seconds, rest another 15 seconds, half or sorry, Turkish get up sit up for 30 seconds aside, and then a rest of 60 seconds to get us rare to go for the next round. So we got a little bit of core work, working on some rotation. Got some nice solid RDL work with the hammies up, and then we have a nice chunk of sit ups again to work on that core work. So let's have some fun today. Let's get you ready, and let's get you warmed up. To take on this bad boy. All right, guys, let's get those feet under the hips. We'll take the arms big and tall up overhead. We'll stretch it to one side, we'll come back up and over. We'll stretch it to the other side. We'll come back up. Give yourself a little shrug. We'll pull those hands down, and then we'll take it all the way to the floor. Walk up the shins, we're gonna come down, framing a foot, we'll step back into our lizard. Inside hand is gonna reach way up to the sky, we're gonna rotate forearm to the floor. We're gonna come back up, big stretch, rotate forearm to the floor, big stretch overhead. And then one more time, rotate down, big stretch, we'll plant that hand, we'll step back into our down dog, reaching those steps nice and high. Heels down super slow as we get that nice weight of those ankles and those feet. We'll step, or sorry, pull that body to the plank and then step the other foot up. Nice and square in the hips. We'll take the other hand up nice and tall. Rotate down to the floor with a big old stretch. And then rotate. Come back up, big stretch. And rotate. Take down for yourself some more easy, slow movements to get your body prepped moving into the warm up. Please do so. Pause the video, take that down. We're going to guide you through that first phase of warm up. We're just going to get that core and those hips ready to go. All right, we're going to kickstart off our day today with a little bit of dynamic triangle work and some windmills. So we're going to work from that sumo stance to start. So we're going to turn one toe on the angle, the other toe nice and solid. So we're going to have one hand on the hip. Five, one hand reaching up to the ceiling as we draw the hip back into that nice hinge and then rise up overhead. So again, what we want to focus on is that pulling back of the hip into that heel, which gives us that nice hinge to the side body as we really focus on that arm to the ceiling the entire time. So focusing on that pressure up and that good shoulder is going to pay off later on when we start focusing in on those half Turkish get-ups and those Turkish get up sit ups. So from there, once we've done our three to five dynamic triangle per side, we'll move into our windmill. So we're gonna get ourselves in that same position overhead. Our toes are gonna be more neutral to the front and the other hand is gonna be pressing down. We're gonna pull the hips back and down as we find that nice hinge and taking that hand as far down as we feel comfortable. You can alternate switching sides, pulling and rotating or you can do all the reps on one side and all the reps on the other. Our primary focus though is maintaining that good shoulder position as we rotate at the low rib, not rotate at the shoulder itself. So we really want to focus on that nice rotation through that lower rib. 
once we finish off those dynamic triangles and windmills, we're going to move into our dumbbell deadlift. So it's going to give us a chance to work on heating up our hammies with a little bit of light loading. So we're going to stand over top of the dumbbell, nice and set. We're going to pull the hips back and down, keeping that chest up a little higher so we can get down to that range. And we're going to push through those legs, opening up the hips and the knees. From the side, and once we get that dumbbell up to the hip, we're going to draw the hips back and down, keeping that dumbbell to that mid-shin position, and then rising back up. So you can either take it to the floor or that mid-shin, depending on what you can maintain for that back position. That is primary focus in this movement set, is establishing that nice strong back, hinging into that good, kind of good morning hinge, and then maintaining that as we lower the bar taking your time with that, really focus on that good hinge. Once we finish that stuff, we're going to lay down for a little while, which is always fun. We're going to lay it down on our back, and we're going to get it set up with our feet just outside the fingers like we we're going to do a bridge. I'm going to grab my dumbbell, or not, you can do this without a dumbbell, and I'm going to hold the dumbbell by the bells, pushing those shoulders to the ceiling, pulling the ribs in so the low back is in contact with the floor. I'm going to lift my feet up nice and flat. So I'm going to push the dumbbell up, pull the ribs in, and then I'm going to take that leg down with a straight leg or a bent leg. Whatever allows you to maintain that low back against the floor. So you can experiment if you're using the bent knee. You can start to creep that bent knee out a little bit further and further to fill the void between that bent knee and the straight leg. You can slowly start to extend it. But again, we're listening to our low back and that contact with the floor. Once we're done six to 10 alternating at a pretty slow pace, we're gonna take that dumbbell into that next finished position of our floor press. So our elbow is locked out, our hand and dumbbell are over the shoulder and chest. My ribs are pulled in so we have that contact. And I'm going to push the dumbbell up to the ceiling, taking that shoulder off the floor, and then I'm gonna Pull the shoulder back into the floor. Nice and slowly, I'm going to work the protraction and then the retraction of the shoulder. So I'm just working that smooth push, that smooth pull as I work through five reps per side. It's going to give us a really nice primer for the shoulder as we work on that scapular control, moving into the Turkish get ups and those Turkish get up sit ups. So take the time, I like to think about like a three, two, one push, one, two, three, pull. So nice and slow, opposed to all right, we're trying to keep it smooth and controlled. As a quick recap for this work set, you guys, we have a plank, or sorry, a dynamic triangle of three to five a side, windmill for three to five a side, or alternating back and forth of a total of six to ten reps, dumbbell deadlift for three to five. Weighted dead bug, six to 10 alternating. And then we have our dumbbell pro and retraction for five a side. One to two rounds, we're gonna take that down. Then we're gonna move into our practice round, which is gonna get us ready for these movements. So let's talk about those movements, get you guys ready to go. All right, we've made it to the movements of the workout. What we're gonna kickstart off with today is a half Turkish getup. So we can do this loaded or unloaded, but we're gonna take our knee down to the floor in this low lunge position. So the knee is under the hip, the toe is curled under the back, my knee is over the heel in the front. The same leg, same hand is the arm that's going to be up in the air or holding the dumbbell, and the other hand is going to be pressing down. Similar to our windmill, I'm going to take my body down towards the floor, easing into the ground with that arm as I push my arm into the floor and reach the other arm up to the sky. I'm going to come back up in that nice, smooth kind of flow and then slowly come back down, making sure I'm actively pushing through the arm and actively pushing up to the ceiling with the other arm to maintain a good shoulder position. That reach and press is very important in terms of our kind of reaching through and supporting our body once we get to the ground. Now after our half Turkish get-ups, we have 30 seconds per side. We're gonna give ourselves a 10 second transition to move to the other side and set that shoulder up. 
and then we'll do it again. And then we'll rest 15 seconds and move into our kind of cardio piece, our little coordination piece, which is a high knee skip. And we have a couple different ways that you can do this. You can do this with no leaving the ground, no impact, where we're gonna get ourselves kind of coming up onto the toe with that nice kind of lift. So we get a nice swing with the arm and the leg and come back up. Swing, 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 swing. So we're using the upper and the lower body together to get a little lift. But it's mostly this leg coming through and up that lifts the body up off the ground. Or we have the other variation where we actually follow through with the ankle. Same thing, except we pop, 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 pop. So we're swinging that leg up, and then we follow through with the ankle with a little pop, and that's gonna get us up off the ground just enough to feel that space, and then we'll come down to the next one. Another variation of this too, though, if you have lots of space, like distance, you can actually move, so you can travel along the way. I'll give you a couple as I come across. I come up, I step through, up, step through, up. So you can travel a little bit of distance if you'd like to do that instead. It's the same movement, we're just moving and not doing it in place. So if you do have a little bit more space that you can move around in, it's kind of a fun option to travel with that knee high knee skip. Once we're done our 60 seconds of that high knee skip of choice, we have 15 seconds of rest, then we're gonna move into our single leg RDL. Our single leg RDL can be loaded or not, and it can be, the load can be held in a multitude of different places. I'm gonna set myself up in that nice kickstand position. I can hold the dumbbell by the bells at this nice tall position, or I can hold on the kickstand leg, or I can hold it on the balancing leg. So all of them offer a slightly different stimulus in the body, a slightly different kind of feel, but it's all gonna give you a really nice stimulus in that hamstring. So regardless of where you hold it, the movement is the same. So my foot is planted, my weight is through my midfoot, my other toe is down loosely as the kickstand to keep me helping, or to help me keep that hip square and balanced. I'm gonna set my ribs and hips square to the front, I'm gonna draw my hips back so the dumbbell gets to my knee or just above my knee. And then I'm gonna come up nice and tall, standing square. Drawing the hips to the back of the room and then slowly standing tall. So I'm working through that nice hinge, that nice flow, feeling that hamstring, that upper hamstring and glute, doing the work. So we wanna make sure we feel the sensation upper hamstring glute not lower leg. If we are feeling lower leg, we want to make sure that we engage that glute, keep that glute active throughout the entire movement. After that, we have our five, or sorry, 15 second rest. We'll move back into that high knee skip for another 60 seconds. Then we're gonna move into our last movement, which is our, half, our Turkish get up sit up. Our Turkish get up sit up is always a fan favorite. It's challenging and it definitely packs a punch over the long haul. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay down on your back. One knee will be bent in the foot flat, the other leg nice and straight. Whatever knee is bent, that is the arm that will hold the dumbbell or be up in the air. The other arm will be about a 45 degree out from the body. And I'm going to simultaneously push up with the arm, down, down, and down with my other three point limbs. And I'm gonna roll over into my elbow. So I push. I come to my elbow, and this is where I could either stay or I can follow through and come up to a more vertical position and then come back down and down. So it's up to you on how far or what range of motion you would like to play with in this Turkish get up sit up. Up to the elbow or all the way up to a full seated position. Your call. Go with what gives you the best challenge but also allows you to maintain a steady flow of 30 seconds. Now, the big thing I want you guys to keep in mind, I'm just gonna hitch my dumbbell here. When we're doing this, I want you all to remember that it's okay to roll into that elbow with that far arm. So we wanna think about pushing down, rolling into this elbow. I'm not staying square and sitting up square like a traditional sit-up. I'm leaning into this side, and then if I come up to my hand, then I'm squaring up to the rest of my body. But I'm not initiating straight up, I'm coming to the side. So 
I want you all to embrace that, use that lean into the elbow to find stability and to keep the arm up to the ceiling in that vertical position. Now as a quick recap of that work set, we have a half Turkish get up, three, sorry, 30 seconds per side with a 10 second transition in between sides. Rest 15 seconds, high knee skip for 60 seconds, steady pace, nothing too aggressive, just something you can just continue moving with. Rest 15 seconds, single leg RDL, 30 seconds per side with that 10 second transition period. Rest 15 seconds, high knee skip for 60 seconds. You're gonna move into your Turkish get up sit up for 30 seconds a side, and then again using that 10 second transition to set yourself up well and in good position. You'll rest 60 seconds, you'll do it all over again three times. It takes about 20 to 23 minutes, so make sure you're giving yourself enough time to finish that and cool down at the end. This is gonna be a really nice way to start off the week, plus it's a nice way to close out our kind of couple month focus of this style of strength work and hypertrophy work uh, to close up into our next focus. So let's have some fun today, embrace. As always, move for quality, have tons of fun. We'll see you tomorrow for some more fun programming. Bye, you guys.